everybody. We're back. We want to pour into your lives today. And I just want to read something to you guys. It's from Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives and freedom to prisoners, to proclaim the favorable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in Zion, giving them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of the spirit of fainting. So they will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And I just woke up this morning, felt this burden for people who are so depressed, that they want to end their lives. God show me, there are many young people out there. You may be good in school, you may be good at your work, you may be excellent in your natural giftings, but still you're depressed. You're depressed, you're sad, you have a dark side in your soul. And from time to time, you, you think about thinking about killing yourself. You're playing with a thought of suicide. And I want to break that of your life today. Many young people are killing themselves today. And it's the devil. It's the enemy that comes into people's lives and their mindset and speak lies. The enemy comes with different kinds of demons. This is not you who are thinking that. It's a demon that is after your life. Because Bible says that the devil comes to kill, to destroy, and to break down and lie to us and steal from us. He wants to take our life down. So he will come into your mind with lies about that your future, there is no future, it's dark. He paints everything dark. He lies to you and tell you that there is no hope you will never achieve your goals maybe you will never be healed you will never be changed everything in your life will just go in a circle and he keeps lying to people like this he comes into our minds with thoughts that we believe is our own thoughts but it's actually from the enemy and i want to break that spirit of depression of your life today because with that spirit of depression, when you receive those thoughts of lies, that spirit of depression will enter in. You will receive depression and you feel there is no hope except for killing yourself. And maybe you are watching right now and you've been thinking about doing it. You've even been planning how you should do it. And I'm just coming against that demon in your mind right now. And I want to break it. I just want to pray against that demon in your life right this moment. So Father God, I break the spirit of depression over people's lives. I break the spirit of depression. The spirit of lie. The spirit of suicide that's coming against young people. Maybe you divorced, maybe you lost someone, a kid, you lost something, you lost a job, you lost stuff in your life and you feel you lost so much that you don't want to live anymore. It's a lie. I'm breaking those spirits over your life right now. I'm coming against that. In the name of Jesus, I break every depression. I break every depression. Break every spirit of fear. Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind, of peace and of a sound mind. God wants you to live in peace. 
He has a future for you. It's a lie when you look at yourself today in the mirror and you think, I'm just going to end it because I don't have any hope. It's a lie. You do have a hope. There's a future. And God wants you to choose Him because He wants to be part of your future. The Bible says that your future is full of peace. His thoughts about your future is peace and not for something bad to happen to you, but to give you a good future because your life has a meaning, my friend. Your life has a purpose. There's light on the other side of the tunnel. And just if you're watching now, I want you to receive as we are worshiping and praying against this darkness coming against your life. So I will just pray and receive the presence of God where you are right now. Receive hope today. Receive light in the darkness today. Because that light, that little light that will come through your darkness today will diminish the darkness. The darkness will end when you open up for the light of God. The light will swallow up all the darkness in your mind. And I just pray right now against all these wicked thoughts, this wickedness, this spirit of insanity that's coming against young people, spirit of witchcraft, spirit of wanting to die, of this of suicide, of lies, of fear, of hopelessness, twisting the truth, misinterpretation misunderstanding of what people say to them that everything is twisted in their mind and they actually believe in a lie you don't want to die you don't want to die life is a gift God has given you the gift of life for you to live and enjoy and he has a future for you and even if your past has been broken and fragmented and hurt and dark in many ways don't look back my friend look to Jesus he has the answer you are searching for it's not another boyfriend or another girlfriend another wife or another husband that is the answer to your problem it's not another job or another more money on your bank account it's not that. It's Jesus. He is the answer and he's knocking at your door. He wants to come in and he wants to lift you up today. You who are living in darkness and despair. There is hope on the other side of your tunnel. Receive the presence of God as we are singing. Hallelujah. father or a father with a daughter or a son who are depressed 
or maybe bipolar, who have some mental illness. They want to kill themselves sometimes. I'm just coming against that. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you cannot have these children. Take your hands away from these kids. In the name of Jesus, they belong to Christ. Oh, I just say to you, you who are mothers, who are crying, you're sad, you're worried, don't worry. Go to God with all your worries. Lift up your burden to God. Lift up your child to God the Most High. And lay your child on the altar of God. And He will protect your child. He will take care of your child. Maybe you are not the one who's going to speak and help your child, even if you want to. But God will send other people into your children's life who are anointed to help them. And I pray for supernatural um, supernatural situation that takes place in your ch child's life right now. I pray that that girl that is going to take her life is going to turn around right now. Every tree. 
trauma, everything you have faced in this life that have hurt you emotionally. I speak healing to your self-esteem, to your self-worth right now. That you will start seeing yourself through the eyes of God. You will start seeing how precious you are in His eyes. That no one can take your place. No one can take your place. You one of a kind. No one can replace you on this planet. They can have the same name as you. They can try to look, look like you, dress like you. They cannot be you. You are unique. And you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. When God looks at you, my friend, He sees art. He sees something that is so beautiful that He's so proud of. Because He made you. He made you and He's crying for you. He's hurting for you because He wants you to understand what I've read here. That what Jesus said in Isaiah 61 that he came with an anointing to heal the broken hearted to give you uh, another garment not the sorrow not the pain, not the depression but beauty for ashes beauty for ashes Jesus can change your life if you let him in if you just say Jesus today Jesus I don't know you I don't, I don't know you, but I want to meet you if, if what this woman on YouTube is saying is true. I want to meet you. I want to meet you. And I need help. I feel lonely. I'm in a dark place. I don't know what to do with my life. And I don't know how to be healed. Just open your your life up to Jesus today by faith. Say, Jesus, can you please come into my life? Can you come into my heart and rescue me? Can you save me? I need help. I want to live. I don't want to die. I want to be a whole person. I don't want to struggle with mental illness. And I don't know what to do. I don't want to use these pills anymore. I don't want to drink this alcohol anymore to self-medicate. God, I need help and I'm reaching up to you. And I'm promising you, if you pray that prayer with us today, He will come to you. He will come to you this very moment. He's your Savior. He's your Savior, my friend. He died for this. You don't have to die. He died for you. You don't have to die. He's already died for you. So you could live. Receive a new life today, my friend. Let him take you out of ashes and dress you with beauty. He can change your life. Jesus, hold them tight to you, Jesus. Hold them and 
love them, Jesus. They just need your love. Your everlasting, everlasting love. Yes. access to deliverance, we have access to healing, emotional healing and hurt from trauma, every disease, every diagnosis that the world is put on you, God can and will heal. You don't have to have that diagnosis for the rest of your life. It is not your identity either. If people say, yeah, you have bipolar, you have this and that, schizophrenia, psychotic, all these illnesses, you suffer from manic depression, God can break it in one second of your life. He can heal those emotional hurts. He is the restorer of brokenness. He takes out the root in our life. The cause of why you are so hurt, why you suffer so much today that you thinking about dying because you don't see any hope. God will go to the root of your problem today and He will heal you so deep as if those things that happened to you when you were maybe a child, it is like they never happened. Because God is the restorer. He is the one who built up the bridge. He built up our foundation. He builds up our lives again. He will, will give you beauty for ashes today. And I just want you to receive it and believe in it. There is hope for you and you are not alone. He sees you, He hears you, He hears you cry. Receive His presence today and He will heal you and give you a great life. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>